Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, is coming out this December in theaters. So if you would like to learn how to do Rey's triple bun hairstyle as seen in the movie, just keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to See Who Plays Hairstyling. I've gotten a lot of requests ahead of the upcoming movie to show you how to do Rey's hair. It's a very easy hairstyle to do, so no matter what your hairstyling experience is, and almost no matter what your hair length is, you'll be able to do it for the premiere or for whatever cosplaying adventures you want to embark on. You're just going to need some hair on your head. It needs to be about shoulder length or longer. And then you're going to need a few hair elastics. One that's small, like this size. And three that are larger hair elastics, such as this one. First, comb out your hair so it's easier to work with. Now gather up a small section of hair above your forehead. If you have bangs, that should be the hair that you pick up, and if you don't have bangs, figure out where they'd be if you did and pick up that hair. Smooth it out and tie it with your small hair elastic. Now pick up the top third of the rest of your hair. Smooth it backwards and start tying it into a ponytail with one of your large hair ties. Right before you finish the ponytail though, when you're in the process of pulling the hair through the elastic loop one last time, don't pull the tail all the way through. Leave it so that you have a loop of hair and the rest of the tail hanging underneath the loop. Adjust this loop so that it's just long enough to flop down a little bit. Then take the rest of the tail from this almost ponytail and wrap it tightly around the hair tie so the elastic is hidden. Use bobby pins every once in a while to hold this wrap in place by hooking some wrapped hair in the open end of the pin and pushing it into the hair underneath the hair tie. Once that first hair loop is all wrapped up, gather up the second third of hair into a ponytail. Do the same procedure, where you almost make a ponytail, but leave it as a loop of hair instead. Then wrap the tail around the hair tie and pin secure. Now at this point you might be thinking, ew that wrapped part looks kind of bulbous and weird and not like Ray's buns at all. Well Daisy Ridley's hair is much shorter than mine, so her buns can be much more discreet. If you have very long hair like me and really don't like how this looks, you can do this technique instead. When you've completed a bun loop, don't wrap the remaining tail at all and leave it hanging. Then when you pick up the hair for the next bun loop, you'll also pick up the tail from the previous bun and just treat it like the rest of the hair you're bunning. You won't have super obvious wraps this way, but you'll also have exposed hair ties so it's a judgement call for you which look is most appealing to you. Right, so whatever technique you decide on, finish off the second bun loop the same way you did the first. Finally, grab the rest of your free hanging hair and make one final bun. With the tail of this one, either wrap and pin it around the ponytail holder, or just ball it up, poke a hole in the hair at the nape of your neck so your finger sticks in underneath the hair tie for the third bun, and shove the tail hair up in there. Shove a couple bobby pins in there as well to hold it in place. Here's what Ray's hair looks like when finished, either as wrapped buns like in the movie, or with exposed hair ties for our adjusted technique. Like I said before, it's very easy to do either of these approaches, so no matter what your hair length or skill level is, why don't you try it out and send me a picture of it on social media? I'd love to see how you do. Just search Cebu Plates on your favorite platform or type in the account handles you see here on the screen. Also, if you've been around my channel for a while and enjoy what I do, it would mean so much to me if you would consider donating on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash plates. These videos take a ton of time and resources to make, and your support makes it all possible. Thanks again for watching everyone, and see you next time.